Okay guys, here's a Nexus Class C in a beautiful burgundy sitting on a Ford E350 chassis. Uh, this is a Viper. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so you have uh, one step up. Looks like the auto there is an automated step, but I guess because electric isn't on, it's not working. It's weird. So when you come up... Okay, you have two main um, recliners that would be your main sitting area when you're not sleeping. Okay, very nice and comfortable. And this is your main living space. This is your kitchenette here, which has nice decor, uh, nice backsplash there, smaller sink, okay, but functional. And that cover so you can prepare food. Three burner propane gas stove. Uh, no oven, but you do have some nice cabinetry below for storage. You do have a microwave up top. Okay. And you do have a full refrigerator and a full freezer. Okay. So, very big for a Class C. You can live out of here, no problem, or camp. Okay, let's take one more look at the main living space and then we'll go into the bedroom area. Comfortable, compact for a Class C. This is a pop out this side, just make a note of that. Okay, some more uh, storage here as we get to the bedroom area. This curtain separates your bedroom. Okay, so not much privacy, you usually need a door, but it's some privacy. This is your main bedroom, queen size bed. You do have windows that will give you some ventilation. You do have a sunlight and ducted AC. This is a pop out, okay, this side here. And off your main sleeping quarters is your main or only bathroom. Nice decor, nice vanity, okay, nice sink. Separate bathroom, uh, separate, to uh, separate toilet, excuse me, which is elevated up a little bit. And there is your shower, fiberglass surround, and sunlight with a vent fan. And so right off your bedroom is your bathroom. Okay. Fully self-contained unit. You have a sleeping quarters. You have a kitchen. Okay. And you have a shower. That's what it means to be self-contained. You can live out of here. You have every function a house does. Uh, you have a shower, sleeping quarters, and cooking means. Okay. And this is your main coach area okay sitting on a ford e350 chassis super duty nice L uh, lcd screen there i believe that's custom uh, this unit was add-on and then you have a big screen tv above with some additional storage and an exhaust fan so you pass right through that's the value of a motorhome you don't have to um, <clears throat> disconnect your travel trailer you are fully self-contained you pull over and you got everything at your fingertips However, a motorhome is, it has a motor, okay, and it needs repairs, and if you have to repair it, you have to rent a car, or you have to tow a separate car, so everything has that pro and that con. Okay. And then this is the back of the unit. Okay, I would not want this. To me, this is uh, too much, but for some people, now this may work. Uh, it does have a tow hitch. Uh, so this is a Viper. Uh, Viper Nexus. This whole side is a slide. Let me know your thoughts below. And just looking at another unit. And uh, for those looking for a Class C, this may be an option.